When people show you who they are, believe them. This particular tenant showed me who he was during difficult times. You know, we called, we reached out, we said, hey, how can we help? We got him the program. And then he just decided to be an ass. <laughs> So I'm here in Scranton again here at one of my other properties. I have another vacancy here and my PM team instructed me to put one of the high tech lock boxes for self showing and so I'm about to remove the old one that I have there which is uh, non high tech ones, the manual ones. This stuff here is awesome because you can self show. They got to put their ID, they got to put their credit card and it scrambles the code. They put their code, it uses the Wi-Fi from their phone. This is pretty awesome technology, using technology to leverage our time. So anyways, I'm gonna show you this asset. I bought this asset a year ago. This property was just vacated. This tenant didn't pay us rent for about five months. He applied for the CEO program. The challenge I had with this particular tenant was that he didn't pay us and he wasn't calling us. He wasn't trying to work with us. He just decided he wasn't gonna pay us. And he was like $400 on the market. I would have kept him and work with him had he communicated and had he worked with us. The challenge is he showed us who he was. So he had a little bit of a hard time and he went, he just said, screw you, I'm not paying you. We, we helped him apply for CEO and then we told him that once the rent is paid and it was ran out that we were not renewing to him. He left, so I'm gonna show you right now what it looks like and um, come check it out with me. Front door, you walk in and this is ideal. This is what I, like when I think of a turn, this is an ideal turn. Um, it could be better, but it could be a lot worse. This is pretty clean, he left it clean. Um, look at this place, it's pretty neat. Countertop, everything's clean. I mean, floor is intact. You have old cheap floors here, it's a rental. Um, it's not broken, I'm not fixing it. We're just gonna touch up paint here. We're gonna stretch the carpet upstairs, I believe. Let me go upstairs, let's take a look. Fans on, as you can see, this needs a little stretching. So we're gonna stretch, you see the line there, we're gonna stretch it and we're gonna steam clean this. This is a two bedroom. Um, I don't know if you consider this a bedroom here, but this is definitely a bedroom in the front. Bathroom. Bathroom is clean. And this is an ideal turn. Right, this is his bedroom. We're just gonna stretch this carpet, clean it up and move on. You guys have heard me say this before, is when people show you who they are, believe them. This particular tenant showed me who he was during difficult times. You know, we called, we reached out, we said, hey, how can we help? We got him the program. And then he just decided to be an ass. He just decided not to communicate. He decided not to talk to us. He decided just he wasn't gonna talk to us or communicate with us. I said, okay, so if this is how it's gonna be, we're not, you know, once we get our rents, and I gave him ample time, we gave him ample time. Once, we, once we're through this, we're through this, right? We're done. And that's, that's what, what it is, you know. That's part of this business, right? Finding the right people is usually the biggest, the biggest challenge. I inherited him, I inherited the guy. He wasn't my guy. It wasn't my, it wasn't my choice. But nonetheless, I had to deal with it. Let me lock this door up. I had to deal with it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you guys think this is a good, this is a good turn. I think this is a good turn. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me actually show you the outside because I bought this property and I, and I kind of, kind of uh, really liked it when I first saw it. So one of the things I like about this property is you have, I think, a United Neighborhood Center next door, so like a kids club. It's got a really nice big yard. We're probably gonna sell this in a couple of years. I refied this into a long-term fixed rate mortgage. So I'll see what happens. You know, it's always about the velocity of money and where we are and what's next and what we have in the pipeline. But look at this, you know, look at this neighborhood. One of the things I liked about the neighborhood was everyone keeps their yard and pretty clean. The boys club next door, which is pretty cool. Anything that helps the community and the kids, I always support. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. If you know anyone that's looking to rent a property in Scranton, just hit that number up. 570-583-8552. Um, you know anyone in Scranton that wants to hit up and um, it puts it through our system. Appreciate you guys watching. Leave us a thumbs up if you appreciate this, con this, con this type of content and you like it. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. So guys, if you like this video you just watched, click on this video up here. It might be something you might like. And guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Peace out.